President William Ruto has reconstituted his government. There's been a, shuffle, a reshuffle of cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries and also ambassadors. We're going to give you the whole list right now with the graphics. Let's go to the list, if you will. Here we go. Honorable Musalia Mudavadi. He, moves, he stays in the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary and also gets an additional Ministry of Finance and Diaspora Affairs, a new portfolio there. Rebecca Miano moves to the Ministry of Investments, Trade and Industry. Alice Wahome moves to the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development. More names. We've got, uh, here we go. Zachariah Mwanginjero moves to the Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation. Penina Malonza moves to the Ministry of East African Community, the Assols, and Regional Development. Alfred Mutua moves from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife. More changes. Moses Kuria moves to the Ministry of Public Service, Performance and Delivery Management. Aisha Jumwa moves to the Ministry of Gender, Culture and Heritage. We've got the principal secretaries also have been reassigned. We begin with Jeffrey Kaituko, moves to the State Department for Shipping and Maritime Affairs. Shadrach Mwadime moves to the State Department for Labor Development and Skills Development. We also have Paul Rono moves to the State Department for Crops Development. Idris Salim Dokota moves to the State Department Cabinet Affairs. Uh, Anne Wangombe moves to the State Department for Gender and Affirmative Action. Veronica Nduva moves to the Ministry of Performance and Delivery Management. More changes for principal secretaries. Harsama Kello moves to the State Department for Assaults and Regional Development. And Julius Correr moves to the Ministry of Water and Sanitation. All right, just to remind you, we also have a couple of spokespersons who have just been announced. That's also breaking news as we're getting it right now. Um, Honorable Isaac Maura is a government spokesperson. He's just been appointed. And there are two deputy government spokesp 